kind of want to cut that off. Okay, let's get this started now. Wasn't actually planning on coming back with another stream of this today, but I already missed the game, even though it's only been a few hours. And I couldn't deal with the thought that I wouldn't be playing it for a few days, so I thought I'd f try to fit in one more short stream before... before then. Check, if I recall correctly, I needed bracelets. At the very least. Weapons would be okay, but I think the weapons are down right now. Yeah. Well, I haven't done anything yet, so I guess if I can't get another expensive bracelet, I might just cancel this... this, uh... shopping. Okay, I can buy another one of these, so I will. Couple of those... Honestly, it might be worth just buying that and trying to sell it immediately, because even if I can't sell it well, it's up, I think it's still a good profit. Which would be a slight gamble. I think I have until the end of day 29 to pay off this week, so... So I have no problem with, like, buying some stuff. The rest I should spend on food. Eh, I don't know if sweets are down, so... If things are down, you can't really buy them and immediately resell them and make a profit like they can, like you can if they're up, but... I'd still buy some for later, but no. I think I might as well just spend all the money on curry instead. That's a safe purchase immediately. At some point I gotta remember that I want those vending machines too. But for now, I can no longer afford them. Let's just buy a few more of these with the rest of my money since might as well spend it on something. It'll help me fulfill treasure stuff. Oh yeah, I was gonna maybe buy a weapon. I could still sell that to her. And it might actually be better to sell that to her while they're down because she'd be more likely to be able to afford it. I'd take a loss, but I'm sure I can make 200,000 by the end of tomorrow with no problems, right? I guess we'll find out. I'm not gonna save before opening this. If this goes really badly, maybe I'll reload and buy different stuff. いいわね。いくらにしようかな。わかったわ。ありがとうございました。売れたよ。いらっしゃいませ。あのね。いくらにしようかな。うん。ありがとう。
Yeah, considering how much money I've made in this one slice of time, I'd say getting to 200,000 by the end of tomorrow should be no problem. In fact, I'll get the entire way there. Oh wait, no, he's selling this. I don't know what's a good price to buy from somebody when the prices are up. 150,000? Or 150%, I mean. I guess that's about it. You just sold me one of these. I don't want to buy these, these kinds of prices. Can I at least sell one? It'd be nice if I could sell them as well instead of just buying them. So I guess I didn't wind up making as much money as I wanted to this time because I had to buy several things that were up in price at the time, but I'd say I still made a good bit of money here. Especially considering you can rip her off pretty easily because she's an idiot. お見せ開けますね。いらっしゃいませ。買って欲しいものがあるんだけど。いくらにしようかな。わかったわ。ありがとうございます。買っておいたよ。いらっしゃいませ。掘り出し物だと思うぜ。いくらにしようかな。まあ
so I should have no problems paying off 200,000 by the end of tomorrow. At least there's that. Yeah, this stuff probably won't sell until the price of sweets normalizes. But I'll put them in there anyway. And I don't think I can really do anything for the one or for the rest of today other than open the shop again. So I suppose I'll do that. I guess I could buy stuff, but nah. I can do that tomorrow. Especially since the the one of the shops is closed at this point. I could actually buy this offer, but considering her prices, I'm probably I would probably just rather break the combo for now. Alright, so today I think I want to buy stuff, do adventuring, and open the shop. So that leaves no room for anything else. 
Since I'm only gonna open the shop once, that means that I can't really spend too much because I don't want to drop too far below 200,000 considering I need to have 200,000 by the end of today. So I gotta try to actually manage my spending instead of just buying everything like I always do. See, this vending machine I think I want. It'll take up most of my spending money, but... I could always use more vending machines. And I guess I'll spend the rest on food. Because food is easy to sell back. So that puts me at a little bit below 200,000, but... Within range that hopefully opening the shop once should easily bring me back up. If it doesn't, then well, whatever. Of course, as I say that, I'm spending more money. I should stop spending money now. I have to force myself to stop before I spend it all. Alright, let's go to the dungeon. I think opening the shop once I should be able to make 50,000 back. I hope. Otherwise I might just have screwed up really badly and have to reload, which I will do if I have to, but I think I'll probably still be fine. Unfortunately, I got teleported trying to kill that eye thing, so that didn't work out for me. Maybe I'll go back there at some point, but it's too far out of the way to really be worth going back there on purpose. But those can be quite annoying enemies to deal with. Yeah, you know what, I'll go back this way. It'll probably lead me to that room. Be an enemy in here that's dead. Yes. I found it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Now that's clearly the temperature of the dungeon in Fahrenheit right now. I don't know what else it could possibly mean. The dungeons just get warmer as you go further in, I think. I believe that's how it works. I'd say it was actually smart enough to deliberately avoid that bomb. Of course, that's what I do. I clear up misunderstandings and make new ones. It's the way of life. It was about time to leave this floor, but I actually haven't even seen the exit yet. It's gotta be in the next couple places I look, because this dungeon's pretty much done. Oh, right, there's a path down here. For a second, I lost track of where there was a remaining path, and briefly thought this place didn't actually have an exit, but this is one of the rare dungeons where the exit is the last thing you find. It's now 27, although I can't say I'm familiar enough with Fahrenheit to comment on what that actually means. I think it's supposed to be somewhat cold, but I don't know. Temperature measurement system doesn't exactly make sense. Okay, so generally considered kind of cold, but not really that cold for the middle of winter. I've ever managed to accidentally get one of those to drop without falling on me. Not sure why I can't figure that out. I would think it's not that complicated, but clearly it is. Because why would I struggle with something if it was easy? That's never happened before, right? back there. And this one I managed to make drop without falling on me. I'm just not sure if I did it on purpose or not. We'll just say I did so I can take credit for doing something right. It's 
It's as good a plan as any. Can you stop blocking everything? There we go. Like the shield enemies, I think my strategy for them is more or less just to like wait until they're not blocking and just keep attacking in the meantime, because like I don't really have a solid strategy for dealing with them. It's not like in Chantilly's where there is one. At least one that I know of. There is a lot of junk in my inventory. In this game, I assume not. Because how could something exist if I don't know about it? I gotta say, I've been pretty unlucky with finding the exits in this dungeon so far, but I guess in bigger dungeons it can take a while to find exits. But usually, by pure chance, you'll find it without exploring almost the entire floor. Sometimes they take a while to turn, but if you just keep hitting them, they'll eventually turn. Oh god, this is the worst floor effect I've encountered so far. But then again, like this is actually the first floor effect that's been entirely negative. I think in later dungeons, you get more and more common negative effects until like the last dungeon where every floor has a negative effect. Well, negative according to the game. There's still the ice effect, which is good for some characters. So yeah, I, I, I definitely want to find the exit quickly in this floor. Because this is going to be a pain to kill anything here. In fact, I might as well just run past enemies. Of course, if I do that and then stop to kill one enemy, they all catch up.
I already forgot whether I threw out that shield or not, but if I didn't, I probably will. Alright, this floor, the map is already revealed, so I can get to the exit at any time, and I can run to the treasure chests right away. Big shield, I might want to keep that one. It's strong and big. Okay, seriously, most of this crap sucks. Seems like there are only four chests and I've already got to three of them, so I'll just hit the other one and then leave. Wouldn't mind getting good enemy drops on the way if possible. And this one doesn't even have an item. Honestly, I might not even be leaving with a full inventory since I'll probably be leaving after this floor, but... Well, what are you gonna do? There, that's something. It's not really worth having, but it's better than nothing. Alright, let's go. Oh, this is actually the last floor, so I'd be leaving here anyway. Okay, getting to the end it breaks all the boxes and makes there be no items in them. Kind of figured that would happen. I think that's probably still for the best right now, because I don't think Louie as he is right now is in a great state to be looking through all those boxes. They can have items in them, but... I think it's probably still not worth it. For the damage I'll take, since I didn't really bring healing items. destroyed by arrows right now. Okay, well at least I found something. It's probably not good now. I say without checking, but I'm pretty sure it's not good. After all, it's just iron armor. I don't know if I can actually find her. Okay, there we go. Yeah. 
I think spamming this attack is definitely by far the most effective way to win against it. There's a book. I don't know if I can pick that up or if there's a cutscene that prevents me from doing that. Oh. Ah, she's fine. That's a reasonably yeah, it's a reasonably valuable book. It's not a unique item or super valuable or anything, but I can sell that. Oh, I didn't actually know there was a limit before, but apparently there was, and that level let me get away from it. Also, this thing only lets me stock 10 items. I thought for the price it would be better than that, but, well, all right, I gotta try to make some money quickly. What's the most expensive kind of thing I can sell? Curry and melons. All the melons. They need to sell. Now. And this stuff I'll put in the vending machine. And hope for the best. Who wants to buy some vending machine sandwiches? This does not look like a very good front display. I've got to figure something out here. We need more variety.
Alright, I'm gonna save here because if I don't make 50,000 it's game over and I'd rather not deal with it. Actually, what kind of orders do I have? Today, two bracelets and two books. Oh god, did I even get bracelets? I don't think I got expensive bracelets. No, but I have enough bracelets to fulfill the order. I just won't profit much on it. And two books. I have some expensive books, I just don't know if she can afford them. Actually, I barely have any books, but okay, well. Let's open up and see what happens. Okay, good. I was thinking somebody please buy the damn melon. And then somebody did. And there we go. Yeah, I think I have all of the shop expansions now. So it's actually pretty early in the game that you get all of the shop expansions. Considering there's still like 30 merchant levels to go. Alright, I paid this off with very little money to spare, so I don't have much to start working towards the next week, unfortunately. But I don't have much dungeoning to worry about unless a new dungeon shows up, so I can just focus on making the money for next week. Hey, 
何がいいかなえい、ー、何を起こったなwas on the shelf. Probably shouldn't have been since I'd have to sell it for way too cheap if somebody wanted it, but I guess nobody wanted it in that time. So it's probably fine. How about the boots in the window? Let's see, next week's payment is 500,000. I think that's the last one in the debt. So, like, 500,000 and under a week. Alright. Uh, what do I get for next level? More items, so... I would like that. Let's sell stuff, hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna need to buy stuff because I'm pretty much out of books now. Can't have that. Can't be an item shop without books. Well, that's unfortunate. The price of food's decreased. Hopefully I can still sell some of the stuff in this vending machine. Like, since sweets are still up, I can sell sweets at normal prices, but the rest of the food is terribly priced now. Alright, I need to buy books. Immediately. え<音楽> 
Alright, 50 is not enough to buy anything here. I can make this now. I didn't even realize I unintentionally gathered the items for it. Might as well make it. Nothing else can be made now though. Out of curiosity, can I buy anything for 50 over here? I can. Sure, I'll take it. It's not really a good reason to, but I might as well be broke. Why would you not want to be broke? I'm sure everybody wants to be broke at every possible opportunity. It's only natural. Right, I'm now a bookstore, apparently. Because why not? I'll keep these ham sandwiches, I guess, since they're not going to sell in the vending machine now anyway. Now all the price is down. Not sure what I want to replace them with, though. Don't really have anything worth selling in here. Yeah, pretty much like any day. No, right, what kind of know. orders do I fulfill today? Nothing. I think I already opened the shop today, so they're already fulfilled. Tomorrow, a bunch of food, and the next day, weapons. Alright, let's save and see how much money I can make in the rest of today. Starting out from basically completely broke again.
かなえい何がいいかなはい、何ですかどうしようかな拝見ですいらっしゃいませこれいいわねいくらにしようかないいわねありがとうございましたくれたよこんにちはいくらにしようかなありがとうございましたくれたよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなわかったありがとうございましたサイン取ったよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございましたあったよいらっしゃいませなんといくらにしようかなへへ<笑>ありがとうございましたくれたよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございましたファイントったよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませありがとうございましたへへ<笑>はい、didn't make all that much money there, but I should still have no problem getting to 500,000 by next week. I hope. おやすみなさい。さあ、仕事しますよ。今日も頑張っていこう。何がいいかな。えい何を置こうかなえいどれにしようかなえいどれにしようかな何がいいかなえいどれにしようかなえい何がいいかなI think I'll go out and buy some stuff before before I open up shop just to be ready for whatever it is I'm doing. Alright, this is the day that there was a bunch of food for it. Alright, I checked my merchant level. Alright, I did unlock the more items. Another item storage. Upgrade next level up, so I'll probably do that b before I do dungeoning. So dungeoning will probably be the day after the guild is closed rather than today. I'd say what day it is, but this calendar doesn't have days on it. It also goes up to 36 months, or 36 days in the month. 
36 month calendar would be interesting too though. Buy all of the food. Way more food than I should buy. Even though that's going to go down in price probably soon. Also, I just remembered I came here to buy treasures. I'm good with money management. I spent all my money before buying the one thing I came here to buy. It doesn't say the year on it from this side, but I assume so. Well, I guess I'll just open up shop anyway. I forgot to buy the thing I meant to buy, but let's hope this works out anyway. Alright, I actually did get that merchant level from one. Okay, the price of sweets is normalized. Gotta try to stop selling those now. I forgot what I was going to say. I lost my train of thought because I got interrupted by sweets being low priced again. It's gonna hurt my sales rate. Oh yeah, I think I was just mentioning like how I got the version level. So I could actually do dungeoning today instead of waiting another couple days. Hey, let's just put a bunch of books in the window. I'm too lazy to think. I'll do dungeoning and this dungeon trip will probably be the last thing I do this stream. 
actually didn't unlock a new dungeon, so I don't think I really don't I really don't know which dungeon I'm actually going to. It's so tempting to get these flashing events instead, but then I wouldn't be able to go to the dungeon. I think I will hire the thief. And just do the dungeon over here. Start from floor one. Get some levels and hope it goes well. Okay. Haven't actually used her yet this playthrough, so I don't know how good she is. She's definitely a lot faster than whoever else I was using. Also definitely a lot more fragile as I just noticed her max HP is 38. It's pretty bad. Probably should have brought healing items. I'm gonna probably just have to try to be more careful. She doesn't have very long range and doesn't have much health. Seems to get a lot of criticals though, so. She's good at offense and speed, but not so much at defense. Which is kind of important if you want to be alive. So, I mentioned I have to be more careful. Clearly that's not working out for me. But I really do have to be more careful. I'll level up soon enough so it's not like I'm in a lot of danger, but if I want to do more than these five floors, I'm going to have to do better than I've been doing. Alright, even for this playthrough, I like her better than Louie already. Right now, she's not the best because she's a lower level and doesn't have much health or defense, but I can work to improve that later. Although it probably won't be too significant until post-game. Because this is probably one of those games where I'm going to be doing post-game stuff, because to me, in this game specifically, well, as well as other games, but in this game, post-game feels like it's more part of the actual game than something that's just tacked on. It's like post-game, there's I think one main major story dungeon that can only unlock in post-game. And it's possible to like finish the whole game without actually like doing any dungeons. I'm not sure if the first one, the trial dungeon, is actually necessary or not, but I know you can do at least most of the game without doing any dungeons, so to me just playing the game to pay off the debt is really not what the game's about. Man, these things do five damage, I really gotta be careful with them. I might just want to leave the f first exit I can, and next time, bring healing items. Because she takes a lot of damage pretty quickly. Almost didn't see that, but when I did, I was terrified. Yeah, let's see what kind of damage I can do here. 
Not enough. Oh god, I almost stopped attacking one attack too soon because I thought it was dead and I almost died as a result of that. Uh, do you have an apple for a healing item? That's it though. Gonna level up soon. Do I go another five floors or quit here? It's a tough choice. I guess it's not like I really lose much if I die. I just don't get to keep all these items. And these items are kind of all junk so far anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, yeah, she has a pretty good dagger. I was wondering what kind of weapon she had since she was pretty clearly doing a lot of damage compared to someone like Louie, but yeah, she had like the best dagger I could possibly buy at the time, which is, I guess, why Louie's weapon still isn't very good. But I think now, at this point, I'd be able to buy better weapons for her as well. But this weapon seems more than sufficient for this dungeon. I guess there are some enemies that won't always die in one hit. So this could be better, but... What are you gonna do? You know, I think I'll just take the exits as soon as I see them in this dungeon. I won't wind up getting many good items out of this anyway. This was more just a trial run to see how she handles as an adventurer with her current abilities. And the result is not bad. I'll definitely use her more. Alright, let's see what kind of junk I want to get rid of here. There is plenty of it. Oh yeah, I just, I just realized I had that upgrade that lets me carry 30 things now. My inventory still got full of junk pretty quickly. things on these floors pretty well but takes so much damage you really gotta be a lot more careful than I'm being which is clearly impossible oh wow even the rock traps do a lot of damage there those do like two damage to Louis at most What kind of defensive equipment does she have? Mm, not the worst, but could definitely be upgraded. Oh my god. I used the wrong thing, and as a result I took like 30 damage. At 
least I have walnut bread. Sweet, delicious, worthless walnut bread. It'll heal all my injuries. See how this boss goes on this with this setup. Okay, I can destroy the red mushrooms in one hit, that's helpful. is really good for bosses. You know what, I have enough healing items, let's go. Let's go for the full dungeon clear. I think she can take it. All right, I actually forgot until I went up to that chest, but I think she has an ability that yeah, it doesn't actually show up in this menu, but I think she has an ability that lets her see which treasure chests are chat or traps before opening them. But I just open every treasure treasure chest before checking anyway. I just open things as soon as I see them because who has any patience? Alright, let's throw out some junk again. anyway. So I guess I could get rid of healing items if I need to, but I doubt I'll need to. There's only a few more floors left. I forgot to check if that was a trap or not. I don't think I'm ever gonna remember something like that. When you see treasure, you just gotta open it. Who can possibly wait? Forgot to check again. One of these chests, I want to remember to check when it's actually a trap. That would be nice. So I can show off the ability and how it works. Stop getting hit by everything. Time out. There we go. Was that so difficult? The answer is yes, obviously. For those who were watching. Yeah, like this it shows when you get next to it that 
icon above her head. So this is a trap. But also, traps are generally pretty harmless, so there's no reason to not open it anyway. So it's a, an interesting ability to have, but it's not really that useful. This is the last floor, so... I want to pick something else up so I can at least have a full inventory. Even if it's just junk, like Batwing. Sure, let's take it. She's got a level up set up for next time. Alright, I think that was all I had to do today. Yep. Tomorrow, the dungeon is closed, so I'll just be managing the shop. Another event. This probably should have happened sooner, because it's been a few days. Like, we're a few days into the week now, so it's not due in a week, it's due by, like, the end of this week. Yeah, I think most people at this point, since it's like several days after the last payment, they'd have already checked the menu. Okay, price of food is normalized. Cool. I can sell food again. So yeah, it's 500,000 and it's due in like four or five days or something. Four days, I guess. I will set up my food display. I guess the display doesn't need to be 100% food, though. And I will put some hand sandwiches, I think, in the... Well, I'll put these in there, too. And the rest will be ham sandwiches, because I bought plenty of those to put in the vending machine. Alright, so I think my setup is good now. So I will open the shop, but I did say dungeoning would be the last thing I'll, I would do this stream, because it's a short stream, because it's getting late. So I will end here, and actually be back with this game in a few days this time. Not like last time I said that when I came back later in the same day, but goodbye for now.
これなんかどうでしょう,ういくらにしようかなわかったありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませ銀行人が働いていますよねそうですわねありがとうございました売れたよこんにちはあのねいくらにしようかな<笑>ありがとうございましたサイン取ったよいらっしゃいませサイン取ってくれよいくらにしようかなまあありがとうございましたいい買ったよいらっしゃいませこれなんかどうでしょういくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませあのねいくらにしようかなあ,あ,ありがとうございましたサイン取ったよいらっしゃいませ入ったなあいくらにしようかなまあそのくらいかありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませあのねいくらにしようかなうんありがとうございましたいい売れたよSure does take a lot of sales to get merchant level up at this point. I've probably sold at least one of them at this point. Well, maybe not. I still have three of them. Let's put one back in the window. Maybe it'll sell, maybe it won't. It's a thrilling mystery that may never be solved. You know, it's not even a bad idea to buy stuff that's currently up in price because it's it's more expensive than if you would buy it when it's not up in price, but the base price is still higher than the price you're paying for it, so if you don't sell it right away, you'll still make some kind of profit off of it. And if you do sell it right away, you'll make a much bigger profit. But I'll buy a few things that are currently down in price because... I was gonna buy five, but holy crap, these are actually pretty expensive. I'll just buy three. So I can afford to buy some other stuff as well. Sure, let's buy like four rings. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing, I assume. They're just rings. Something somehow went wrong, I'd be very confused.
Alright, I'm gonna put this in the window now, and if it sells while well, the price is still up, I can make a profit of like over 50,000 on it. Which is pretty good for one item, and if it doesn't sell, then no big deal. Or is it? Maybe it is, we just don't know it yet. Is there anything else I want to put up while I'm here? No, I think most of the other valuable stuff I bought was down in price. Well, I guess this these books are pretty expensive. Let's put the high price books in the window. That should be fine. Well, this is armor. She didn't specifically ask for this, so I'm not sure if she'd be able to afford it if I gave her that. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything that's just, like, kinda cheap. Best thing I could probably do is this one. Which is significantly better defense than what she has, so I guess... It's better than not selling it to her. Oh, this should be good. I should be able to get, like, a lot of money from this. Not only am I selling the thing that would have made me a huge profit, it's being bought by the person that will spend way more money than anybody else. Let's see if I can get 250% for it. Yep. She's very happy to pay that much. So I made, like, probably... I already forget how much it cost and how much I just sold it for. But at least like 60,000. Which is not bad for one item at this point. I guess, yeah, 51,000 is the base price, and I think I bought it for something under the base price, but even if it, even if I did pay 51,000, that would still be a big profit, so. It's pretty good. It's at some point, I'm gonna sell off these charms as well. I think I should have no problem in the slightest paying off 500,000 by the end of next week. It could still happen, things could still go very wrong, but I don't think they can go that wrong, probably. If they can, I'd like to see it.
どれにしようかなWell, probably not never, but I haven't been reading most of these book descriptions. The descriptions of items in general in this game are pretty good, too. It's like, I wonder how many references to other works this game actually has. There are probably just like hundreds that I wouldn't recognize at all. Along with all of them that I do recognize. I do not know what to put here, so I'll probably move something. Something expensive from one of the shells that nobody looks at. It's as good a plan as any. Oh well, uh, this is up in price. I definitely want to be putting this in the window instead of just leaving it on a shelf that, again, nobody looks at. Seems like people only ever look at the things in the window. Alright, let's open up one more time see what I can get. Okay, well, she paid attention to one of those shelves, but she doesn't count. She's a fairy. Alright, well, okay, now I've sold one of these. Well, not now, but... Now. Now I've sold one of those vases. Let's see, I could buy this. 500% of base price. Do we really need a cat statue, though? I'll offer 407%. Okay. So at least I'll know for the future that I can get stuff for probably under 400% of base price from her. It's a bit of a waste of money, but I think we can spare it at this point. Uh, she's the only one that sells stuff at significantly above base price, but some of the stuff, I don't think that's one of them, but some of the stuff she sells can only be gotten by buying them from her. Okay, the price of food has increased. Well, I think I have some food. Like, a lot of it. Let's check the cat statue. Apparently it's lucky. So clearly it was a good purchase. What other news did I miss? Price of accessories. Okay, I think we already knew that. I think the other news must have been something normalizing. I just don't remember what. Food is up, so I might as well put some food in the window. And 
and books about food. Possibly. Is that actually about food? I need to read this description now. Several hundred rare ingredients that may not kill you. I like those odds. Apparently it's a sequel. Do I have the other book? I don't. But I don't think it actually matters in this game. And since I have way too many ham sandwiches to sell from the shelves, I might as well keep stocking them in the vending machine. Actually, no, I'll stock some beef bowls first. You know, I'll put the more expensive food items on the shelves. That's what I'll do. Not all of them, but I guess some of them. That's probably more than enough. What kind of orders do I have to fulfill today? Nothing. That's surprising. I think I just want to spend all my money anyway, though. I definitely want to buy this. Be a little bit careful with my spending right now. I could just buy like 20 of whatever and spend all my money that way, but I could actually try to reason reasonably spend some of this money instead. Okay, this is the one that had a base price of 51,000. I bought it for 42,850. from now. Can't afford a legendary scarf. That's unfortunate. Alright, I think I got enough stock now. When is the 500,000 due? That's not the menu to check that. It's still a few days, so... I think... What I might try to do for today is, like... We'll see if I can sell some of the stuff that's up in price. Apparently I didn't really get that much. Maybe do adventuring later today. Maybe. What did I just take off the shelf? Oh yeah, that. It's a pretty expensive book. I'd like maybe to put that in the window, but for now, I think I should just keep with what I have. Okay, next level is actually another store expansion. I thought I had all of them. I guess you do get more space than this. I don't think... I don't know if this store itself gets physically bigger or if you just get more shelves. I guess I'll find out. It's just one level away. Go 
おめえが遊ばせいらっしゃいませこれなんかどうでしょういくらにしようかなありがとうございます売れたよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございました買ったよこんにちはいくらにしようかなふぅ Oh right, food is up in price That's why that didn't work, I forgot Wasn't paying attention to that どれにしようかな、えー I can see, like, I think somebody in chat mentioned something exactly like this happening before. Like, price of food s increased it because nobody has food, but everybody comes in here selling me food. And that guy wouldn't even take base price for it. Specifically offered her a cheap book, and it wasn't even cheap enough. いくらにしようかな。わかったわ。ありがとうございました。売れたよ。いらっしゃいませ。いくらにし
ようかなありがとうございました売れたよこんにちはいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよお店開けますねいらっしゃいませこれいただけるいくらにしようかなわかったわありがとうございました売れたよこんにちはいくらにしようかなありがとうございましたあったよいらっしゃいませこれ欲しいどうでしょう,ういくらにしようかなわかったありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませ買い取っちゃくれねえかいくらにしようかなまあそんなありがとうございましたあったよこんにちはああいくらにしようかな高すぎいくらにしようかなうへへへありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよおやすみおやすみなさい今日は頑張りましたね明日もこの調子でいきましょうおはようおはようございますえい何を置こうかなえい何を置こうかなえい何がいいかなえいどれにしようかなどれにしようかな何がいいかなえいどれにしようかなえい何がいいかなえい何を置こうかな何でしょうかあっ。
I think I'm gonna open the shop once today to fulfill a bunch of orders and hopefully sell a lot of books and aside from that I think I will just do adventuring for the rest of the day because I mean I got I got a couple days to make that 500,000 back should not be a problem that doesn't always mean that it won't be a problem, so... Things can still go very wrong. I, th I think. I know they can go wrong, I just really... I don't see it happening. 500,000 just seems so easy to make at this point. いくらにしようかな。Alright, they did just level up. I'm curious if they can afford this when not picking it up off the shelf. Okay, cool. And you can get a lot of experience if you don't break the combo during a boom like that. That's... Unfortunately, I didn't sell four wings. I think that's the expensive one. But, oh well. There will be a chance again someday. Alright, 
I'll just find something else to fill my windows with. I feel like accessories are gonna go down again before I sell any of these, but that's fine. I actually have no orders now. Feels kind of liberating. Just fill the vending machine with melons because ham sandwiches are too low class for me now as a salesperson. I can now afford store expansion and the next thing doesn't actually show up. I guess it only shows up if you're within one level of it and it doesn't just show what the next upgrade will be. Next upgrade's not until level 30, and then 40, and then 50, so... There aren't really a lot more things to earn. It's like up until level 26 you get something every level, but then it just stops, and you have to level up a lot to get anything. Didn't mean to enter this menu, but while I'm here I might as well save. And let's check some adventuring. I'm so tempted to get those events, but then I wouldn't have time for adventuring, so... What can you do? I think her armor is okay. The armband, sandals, and charm are not very good, but the armor and weapon is okay. Uh, do I have any actual good food healing items to bring with her? Because I might want to do that. I can't. Can I check what her max HP is from here? Doesn't look like it. Can I check it at all? From the menu? Okay, I can check from this menu. Okay, her max HP is 50, so bringing an item that heals, like, 250 doesn't seem that efficient, even if I have a ton of them. Take this, this should be a full heal. This should be a decent heal, and aside from that, I don't think she really needs too many healing items. Ham sandwich is a bit much. Let's bring a couple beef bowls. That should be more than enough, honestly. Usually I don't bring healing items in at all. But I don't know what kind of dungeon I'm facing. Oh wait, yeah, actually I do because I didn't unlock a new dungeon and I did finish this dungeon already. So maybe I shouldn't do too much dungeon exploring until I've actually unlocked a new dungeon. For now, I guess we'll just rush through floors 16 to 30, because I can, I guess. I could do boss rush, but I don't think that tends to give very good rewards. Yeah, let's just do this. This shouldn't be too bad. Even if I don't get any good items out of it, at least I'll get some training for her ever be better prepared for whatever the next dungeon is when it unlocks because I will probably be using her. No more of that Louie nonsense. Yeah, her armor could definitely still stand to be better, but I think it's like the best that I can buy at this point. I think she just naturally has low defense, but even so. Don't want to explore the whole floors. I guess not, considering I I have like 15 floors to do. I don't want, really want to explore all of all of them. That would take too long. immediately after the level up I take a ton of damage but oh well if I wind up in a tight spot I guess that's what those healing items are for
Hey, this is just standing there spamming the attack button isn't working well. Who would have expected such a thing could be possible? That's a trap. For once I saw that something was a trap and decided not to open it. Who knows what could happen next? Do much damage. It's good for movement, but. And it's good for movement and invincibility, I guess, but I think for actual attacking, it's not the best.
All right, I think I did not need to bring like any of these three healing items because my inventory is already full of crap. And a lot of it is healing items. Let's see if I don't even throw out any of the healing items. I can still get rid of like over 15 items pretty easily. Like, I think for a lot of those items, they're common enough that I don't really need to keep them unless they're like plus four. Even then I probably don't really need them. I'd just really rather have them if they're plus four, but... Void Crystal I know is rare enough that I can keep it even though it wasn't plus four. I don't remember what it was, but it's like the first time I've even seen a Void Crystal, so they're definitely not common yet. I think that might be one of the kinds of items that does become common. Okay, well that wasn't on purpose, but at least I found out that bombs aren't completely lethal to her. Which is good information to have. Ash shell necklace is kind of valuable, but I mean, I don't really need anything based on its value at this point. I'm just more interested in collecting rare items. And high quality ingredients.
ちゃんとついてきなよ。頑張ってください。Alright, I know now for sure that I'm carrying way more healing items than I'm possibly going to use in here. I might as well throw out all of the apples, since they're the least valuable of them. There weren't actually that many. I'm going to have to throw out more healing items soon. Next, I guess, would be all the egg toast. starting to understand how to lure those things into dropping the key is to 
be next to them when they stop moving, but obviously not so close to them that they hit you like that. Of course, it's tricky to gauge how exactly their hitbox is going to work sometimes. It's hard to be close enough to them that they'll decide to drop, but not too close. Is it as good as roast chicken? Okay, I want to get at least one treasure from each floor, but a lot of times it's just junk that's not worth keeping. Took a bit more damage. Didn't really go all that well. But that skill really does destroy bosses. If you use it right, because I didn't even use it right and I did that well. Not a hundred percent sure if, like, the treasure in this game actually gets worse when you redo the same dungeons or not. I think the treasure's generally pretty bad in a lot of dungeons, and this can include it, but... My god, these... the treasure this trip. I haven't found, like, anything worth even keeping it out of the way. Like, I don't want to do anything on this floor, because it's defense power doubled for everybody, so take... 
forever to kill anything, and of course, naturally, since it's a floor I want to leave immediately. The exit is in the last possible place of the map I look. Wait, why is it that on floors that I want to stay on, I find the exit immediately, but on floors I want to leave right away, I have to look in every room to find it. It's like, I wonder if it's specifically designed that way, or if the floors are actually random. I feel like it's not generating them on the fly, because that would be a lot more difficult, but it's just weird how often I find the exit right away on floors I don't want to leave, but floors with bad effects just take forever to find the exit. say the flying pumpkins are probably like the most annoying enemy in the game just because it's like extremely difficult to gauge their hitbox to actually bait them into becoming vulnerable you have to be like right next to their hitbox but a lot of times I think I'm successfully out of range I just get hit anyway It's almost not really worth fighting them, in fact it is probably not worth fighting them, but they have, they have unique drops that I can't get from other enemies, so I kind of have to fight them sometimes. Alright, I will keep the wizard's robe for now, I guess, even though it's kind of crap. I guess there's only a few floors left, so I might wind up throwing it out, but I might not. Depends on if I get anything better to keep instead, or at least rarer.
All right, this is the first time I've had a movement increase floor. She can run pretty fast now. Way faster than I can control very well. Well, I guess it's not that hard to control. Actually, this is pretty alright. Of course, that naturally makes it a lot easier to walk into attacks, like all the time. not that hard to kill them and get a bit of experience. So yeah, this dungeon was not really a very good trip in terms of getting items, because like, all the items I'm getting are just garbage, but... At least she leveled up a fair few times, so... We'll be better prepared for the next dungeon when that comes up. Why have I been keeping a plus two pet wing for all this time? So foolish. Wouldn't mind running for the exit, but... He also... Oh wow, yeah, those things are really dangerous on movement and speed, or on movement speed increased floors. Because they can run into you before you get the chance to knock them back pretty easily. awful. Luckily, I don't think it's a thing. Alright, I think I can just throw out food. Baked yams, probably the least valuable thing I have. Might as well eat it, actually, since it's free SP recovery. Of course, I don't really want this bad wing anyway. But I don't know that until I pick it up. I can't imagine what kind of category would actually 
do the dungeons in the first place. But if there was a category about it, I guess I could see that. Well, it does sound like it would be a really bad category. Then again, this run, aside from the boss rush in general, is just really RNG dependent, as far as I know. I think the boss rush has a pretty decent bit of RNG too, but... I didn't know that ring was there. But not to the extent of the main game. Where like everything that happens is just pretty much luck all the way. Damn you fish. And even though there's no boss here anymore, you gotta run through all these areas just like the boss is there. And this this dungeon doesn't have a treasure, a free treasure chest at the end of it when you run it again. Because I guess it never had a treasure chest in the first place, but it doesn't really matter because the treasure chest at the end of the last dungeon was junk every time anyway. Aside from that time that had the vase in it because that's a set item drop. After that, it's just random, and it's always garbage. Alright, I got some roast chicken out of it. That was a valuable, long time of adventuring. And I guess I should just not do more adventuring until I unlock the new dungeon. I'm not sure if... The next dungeon is the one that only unlocks in post-game, or if it's the dungeon after that. I think it's the dungeon after the next one. In which case, I don't know what the... ...condition for unlocking the next dungeon is. Oh, yep. Price of Charms has already... ...gone back to normal. So I didn't get to sell them at the higher price, unfortunately, but... ...they're still valuable. I wonder if I can take advantage of the book room again, or if it only works once. I have nothing to lose by trying it. Let's do another store expansion. Maybe this is the last one. I thought that about the last one, but... Maybe I'm now at the end of the store expansions. Okay, books. I first want to buy all of the books. Apparently I can't afford all of the books. So we'll fall back and just buy most of the books. That's probably enough. That's even if it activates again. It might be limited to once. Oh wow, yeah, there's. How did I not remember that the store got this big? That's quite massive. Gotta try to line up some of these tables so they fit on the carpets better. I don't know what to do with these middle tables, though. Unfortunately, you can't move them any less than this far, so you can't, like, put them in the middle of the carpet. Maybe I'll move these two to the right side. That's probably as good as it's gonna get.
This will be the melon machine. It's a solid name. Who wouldn't want to shop there? And I'll bring this vendor back that I haven't used in a while. And I'll put a bunch of ham sandwiches in this one. Now for the window, I want to put all my books there just in case. Put one copy of all the expensive books in the window. Well, all the most expensive books anyway. Some of them aren't really that expensive, but... Alright, do I have anything that's up in price that I should put on display? Not really. Looks like nothing is really up in price right now. Let's just throw a bunch of junk on the other displays because they're not that important anyway. People buy them. If people buy from these displays, that's fine, but if they don't, that's also fine. Just feels like a waste to leave any spaces empty. Jeez, there are so many spaces. Probably gonna want to move those to the window at some point, but for now they can go there. There. What a beautiful bookstore with a bunch of crap that's not books in it. I gotta make 500,000 by the end of tomorrow. Now that feels like a lot, but I wonder how much I can make if I just open the store. Okay. The book thing happened again. We're good. sending these girls on book shopping errands. I guess they have nothing better to do. Yeah, that's usually a good assumption to make with them. Sometimes they can be, like, even more cheap than you would expect them to. To be. Okay, this hurt. This year's harvest is disaster. The price of food has increased again. Okay. Alright, well, I can put food in the window. Food that I didn't put in the machines. Looks like I did put most of them in the machines though, but for now let's go with like a bunch of, I guess melons are actually higher value than these. I don't know how it took me that long to notice, but I assumed those would be higher value because these sell in limited quantities and melons you can buy as much as you want. Alright, well whatever, we'll just stuff a bunch of melons in the window. for the vending machines, I don't know. Gotta put something in these vending machines, but I don't know what if it's not gonna be food.
I guess just an assortment of random books. Books that people didn't want. I should take these out because, I mean, I could sell them for so much more right now. I also made like 200,000 opening the shop that one time, and most of what I sold was just books. Alright. I think when I go over 500,000 this time, assuming it happens, which it should, I'll probably try to stay over 500,000 just in case, rather than take a chance. So yeah, I could still sell these in the vending machines for a slight profit, but I can sell them for like 30,000 if people just want to buy them out of the window. And a lot of people seem to want them. I could probably sell them for a little bit over 30,000, but selling for 30,000 seems to be a good rule right now. I often get a bonus for it in experience. And bonus experience is probably worth more than money in general until you max out your level. Okay. Surprisingly, a lot of the books from this vending machine sold. I don't know that I was entirely prepared for that. But I don't think anything on the shelves sold except the melons from this window. Which means I gotta put four more melons. Get out of the way, fairy. You're interrupting the melon selling. And no, I didn't have any of those on my shelf. Let's see. Could put some rings in the vending machine. I don't know who would buy a ring from a vending machine, but the option's there. as a scarf. This is a very general purpose vending machine it seems like. You can buy scarfs, wing, or rings, or books. Or necklaces. Yeah, I think I bought one. Okay, this one's already also pretty empty. Let's put a statue in there. And some books. Might need to go and buy more stuff just for the vending machine. The vending machines, because like the stuff on the shelves, most of it's not selling, but the vending machine stuff sells pretty well. 
I guess it's because you don't have to interact with me in any way. selling stuff from the non-window displays so she'll unequip the charm in favor of a cape that's a significant defense increase most of the stuff is minor increases but I will definitely let her equip this because she definitely needs more defense I don't know when the next dungeon even unlocks but I might actually have to like redecorate the store to unlock the next dungeon now that I think about it. At this point I might as well just worry about it in post game and just like get the debt repayment over with first. Okay, she's extremely cheap so I don't know if 30,000 would work for her so she can get the special discount of 25,000. <laughs> People who are horrible shoppers get special discounts here. It's very fair. Oh no, how am I gonna have 500,000 by the end of today, though? I just don't see it happening. Alright, so I think I'll probably just open up the shop four times to pass today. Haven't had any orders in a while. Which, honestly, I like, because having to fulfill orders is annoying, but it's just surprising. Do I have enough melons for the window still? I do. What do I want to put here? How about a meditation ring? Yeah, these rings you can just buy, so... It's not really a reason not to stuff them in the vending machine. No, not that. And apparently I have some bat wings. Anybody want a vending machine bat wing? Alright, as much as I said I'd open this store four times, I think I will do that. Clearly I had second thoughts, but I also had third thoughts, which is like three times more than I usually think. It's kind of taxing. Um, 
Jeez, at this rate, I might actually have less than 500,000 at the end of the day because everybody's only selling me things. Nobody's buying anything yet. Well, they're buying from the vending machines. And you can always trust Louie to waste his money. not a drill. I think we have a real state of emergency on our hands here. Watermelon? No, not the same. I'll just put this book in the window and hope nobody notices that it's not a melon. It's fine. If I don't say anything, nobody will notice. Again. And hope I don't lose 180,000 somehow in the rest of today. Well, I could see one thing that would cost me a lot of money if I was stupid enough to fall for it. selling melons. It's all good. I haven't seen that. Oh wait, never mind. There she is. I don't think I sold anything for that much. I think it was like 20,000. I got something, and I don't know actually what it was. It might have been a book. I haven't been paying too much attention to what I put in my vending machines. They're just a common mystery. to rip people off too much. I can afford to only rip people off slightly. Now that would be... That would mean I somehow made 180,000 in one item, and I don't think I could have had anything that expensive in a vending machine. I don't think I actually had that anything that expensive at all. Like, the most expensive item I think that I've seen so far is that one book that's worth like 128,000 or so. Running out of stuff to put in the vending machines. Am I going to be able to open up twice more today? Hey, 
がいいかなえい、ー Okay, that's not really even worth having in the vending machine, but at this point I'm just putting stuff in there so there's something there. Just so it doesn't look empty. Nobody likes an empty vending machine. Alright, let's open up again. Hey, a real cutscene. Well, we unlocked another adventure. Just in time for the game to be over. More or less. Of course, I'm not sure what the condition to unlock the next dungeon is. I'm not sure if she's necessary to recruit for that or not. Maybe I'll find out sometime. I might actually look it up after this stream because I mean it's not like it's really a, a spoiler or anything considering I've, I've done all that before I just don't remember because the conditions to unlock some of the dungeons are kind of difficult. The conditions themselves aren't too ridiculous but the means to fulfill some of the conditions can be complicated. Which is almost the same thing. Twenty-eight thousand for it. Never seen that item before, but I'll take it. Wow, for some reason old men are really stubborn about selling things. Even more so than little girls. I gotta remember that to keep my combo going, because like everybody else is fine with selling just over a hundred percent. That's an upgrade. Not actually as much of an upgrade. Oh, well he's using his shell charm now, that's why. A little bit less attack and defense, but more magic and magic defense. And higher magic, being a magic user seems important. price of accessories has increased just after I sold my most expensive accessory. Damn you all. Well, at least I can take the ones that are left and shove them in the window. This, yeah, 33,000 each for these, that's still pretty good, if I sell them. Alright, you can now buy worthless crap in this vending machine. And you can buy even more of it in this vending machine. That's fine. I think we can open up shop for the last time of the playthrough, officially. Because the payment will be done and then the game will be over, but I'm not going to actually end the playthrough there, but I will probably end the stream there. Because finishing the game is, I guess, a good, a good stopping point. I wonder if I can break a million by the end of today. The goal being 500,000, let's see if I can double it. It's looking like that'll be pretty easy. From that first sale. Alright, 
れでいいありがとうございましたあったよこんにちは This would slow things down if I agreed to purchase this, which I won't because this is a really common item that I can get easily whenever, so I'm not buying this from her. Screw the combo. Well, maybe I'm not gonna get over a million. I just need to sell like one more item that's actually worth something. But it's possible that won't happen. Especially if people just want to sell me stuff. Okay, there we go. So he just bought a wing charm to replace his shell charm, and now, like, it's still the same day, like a couple hours later, and he's buying a shell charm to replace the wing charm. Honestly, I'd rather he, uh, he keep the wing charm, but I'm, I'm not gonna just not sell him something this expensive just because I don't want him to have it. Alright, I'm a millionaire. Just barely. And not for long. Well, for some reason, I really struggled with reading how much profit that was. 521,690, so I made more than I needed all from just today. Now to pay off the 500,000. And still have 500,000 left. If only paying off debts was really this easy. I mean, they do have another mode that's more realistic where the debt never ends and each week it just gets more and more until you fail and lose your house. But in this mode, the debt's pretty easy to pay off.
ありがとう。いや。さようなら、ジュセット。ですから。Now that is completely unreasonable. Aiming to fulfill or aiming to fill out the entire item encyclopedia is something I would not do. I don't know if anybody has ever actually successfully done that. Like it's that difficult. I'm not sure if anybody's even done it. I'm not even sure if it's actually even possible to do it. Because some of the items are so rare that they might as well not exist. And some extremely rare items, you need to get like six of them. Maybe not six, but something ridiculous. Some of the extremely rare items, you need to get multiple of so you can combine them into one other extremely rare item that you can only get through that. Anyway, back to the cutscene. So yeah, I don't mind like doing most of the game, like the post-game stuff is definitely very reasonable to do and I'd recommend most people do that after the playthrough, but filling out the entire item encyclopedia is virtually impossible.
れから私たちは特に変わることなくお店を続けていたりするわけで。Alright, that's how it is. It loads up here. I'll, I'll actually finish reloading my shelves, even though I don't really have anything good to put here.、Uh, let's just throw a ring, a ring there, a statue there, and whatever I just picked up here. Don't even remember what I just picked up.、Um, it might not have been that, but we'll just put that there anyway. And fill the vending machines with junk, because why not? Oh, right. I always forget to put those back. No wonder I haven't sold very many of them. Oh, well, at this point, there's nothing I want to replace that's on the window shelves. So I'll sell that again eventually. In fact, let's just throw it in this vending machine. What could possibly go wrong with putting a fragile face in a vending machine? Alright, so that's about the stopping point of this stream. Alright, to answer. Well, to vaguely answer, it's as. Quickly and generally as possible. It's just that the game basically does just about everything right while doing, like, nothing wrong. Now, that's obviously not entirely true, since if you want to pick out some things, there are definitely some things I could mention that are wrong. Like, I guess I already mentioned the item encyclopedia being basically impossible to fill out is kind of a downside to the game. As well as there are other things that they should have some way of seeing them in game rather than just having them be guesswork, but I lost my train of thought.、Uh, anyway, one, I guess, good thing to compensate for the one bad thing I mentioned is like the sense of humor of the game is just amazing. There's so many references in it, just like everything from the Normal cutscenes that are necessary for the story, to the optional cutscenes that don't really do anything, to the item names, some names, and item descriptions. Like, so many of the item descriptions are so good.、I'm、trying to find one really good example, but. There aren't really any bad ones. Some of them are more about describing the item than they are making a joke, but still. I know some of the book descriptions were pretty good, but I sold most of those already. I guess this one, it's like the conclusion of a long series of books, and it turns out the main character wasn't actually a dragon for some reason. So, spoilers to that series of books in case anybody was going to read this. Fictional series of books. But yeah, I think that's the gist of it. I think I might actually try to like organize thoughts and restate them later in a playthrough or put them on like the internet somewhere in some form, but. Yeah, I'd have to actually have organized thoughts for that, and I do not have organized thoughts without much preparation. Even then, it's kind of iffy, but I've probably saved like four times talking about this, but whatever, I'll save again, and that's it for the stream, so I'll be back in. Well, I don't know what day. Probably in a couple days, but it'll be back with endless mode, where we no longer have to pay debts. All glory to capitalism, goodbye. Okay, I had some issues with the other connection, but I guess this one's working so I can play the game here. Which is good, because that's what I planned to do. Let's see, I can do.
do that event at the market. I think I might as well just like do events whatever now because I don't really have any any debts to pay off anymore so I can just pretty much do whatever I want for the rest of the game. So there's an event at the market. Let's check that I guess. I don't really need any more stuff, but since I'm here anyway, I might as well buy stuff. I could use books. Buy a bunch of books. It's as good a plan as any. I should buy like this whole series. Unfortunately, some of the some of them are limited, but what are you gonna do? I should actually buy decorations. I haven't actually done that at all yet. Well, any decorations I could actually use. Apparently some of these decorations are actually really expensive. Let's just get a carpet. That's good for now, I think. Eh, let's go for this wallpaper as well. Of course, I do still have some money for other stuff. I may as well check, buy some stuff at the guild. Especially with weapons being down in price and being available. I can't afford all of them, but well, that's good for now. Let's see what's the closest thing to the amount of money I have. I guess that. Don't remember if I had any orders today, but I don't have to care about customers anymore anyway. Okay. Sounds like an interesting series. I'd read it. Two thousand pages of battles sounds like a bit much, but I'm sure it works. did just like spend all my money leaving but I think events right now are more important than actually opening the shop or anything so let's check the events 
I think the event that's actually important is at night, but I don't mind seeing events that don't actually technically do anything. Well, I might not open the shop today because there are more events, but I don't need to open the shop. I didn't even have any orders. I can just open tomorrow, maybe. ったな。え。まったく。そうですね。お疲れ様でした。ダメダメです。さあ、仕事しますよ。今日も頑張っていこう。Oh uh, yeah, I forgot about that being it. Well, no, I didn't forget get about it being a thing exactly, but that's the first time it's happened in this playthrough where you sell so many of the same item that the price of it goes down. 
so we can't just be selling melons all the time. It doesn't work that way. Not exactly. There, now if I ever actually open the shop, the stuff in the window will be fine. Jeez, I must have been missing a lot of events. ええ。なんでしょうか。
おやすみなさいダメダメですおはようおはようございますどうした。ダメだよ
そうですね。こんにちは。まあ、いったなまあ、そんなもんかえでもアリーナそうね。なんだよそれ。そうか。そうですね。Okay, after all of those events, we finally get to the one that actually leads to something eventually. So I can see why I usually don't unlock the next dungeon until post game. I'm not sure if the order of the events is random at all, but it seems unlikely to get this one early. にならん。
お疲れ様でした今日は頑張りましたね明日もこの調子でいきましょうさあ仕事しますよ今日も頑張っていこう何ですかどれにしようかなえい、ー、何がいいかなえい、ー、何がいいかな、えー、何がいいかな、えー、どれにしようかなってねえな。お店開けますよこんにちはいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませ売ってくれよいくらにしようかなまあいいかありがとうございました売れたよ
らっしゃいませ買ってほしいものがあるんだけどさいくらにしようかなよしそれでいいありがとうございました買い取ったよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませねいくらにしようかなうんいいよありがとうございました買い取ったよいらっしゃいませ売れますいくらにしようかなえありがとうございました買ったよこんにちはいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよどれにしようかなえい何を置こうかなえい何がいいかなえい行ってきますそういえばそんな。そうか。おはようございます。
きますただいまはい、なんですか行ってきますこうかな。えい、ー、何がいいかな。えい、ー、何がいいかな。えい、ー、何がいいかな。えい、何がいいかな。Yeah, I think for now, more or less, I just have to make sure I open the shop a lot because I think that's about all I have to do to unlock the next dungeon, and I mean, wouldn't mind making money before then, I guess. I could use. Technically, I could use money for the next dungeon, but I don't think I actually will need more. The same thing it's always done, except it's not for debt anymore. That's the only thing it's not used for in post game that it was before.
Yeah, weapons and stuff is about it. Mostly stuff. It's like basically all the things that I'm buying. Should buy more decorations, but I keep... Oh, and another vending machine, but I keep spending all my money before I think of it. I don't really like these vague ones like sinister objects and holy objects because I really don't know what actually qualifies as those kinds of items so I just don't bother with those. For the most part, in post game, it is pretty easy to make way more money than you'll ever need, though. I'm just kind of buying more things that I don't really need to, but. There's probably an easier way to make more money faster than what I'm doing, but I'm just... I don't really care, because it doesn't really matter if you're being inefficient. Okay, I think next time I go out, I gotta just like first thing buy a new vending machine. So I don't forget and spend all my money on other stuff again. Alright, I'm not even gonna ask. Come on. 
ね、聞いて聞いて。そんなことありませんよいいですかI could totally afford four of these vending machines if I wanted, but I'll take one for now. I'll try to buy like one of each of the decorations. Might not be able to afford to, but... Having a variety of decorations would help. Yeah, I can't afford that one. come back for the ones I'm missing later. Like all the floors. We're gonna need floors at some point. Alright, now I need to make the store atmosphere darker. Well, I don't need to, but it would help a lot. It's, I don't think I need to, but... Those just make it too dark. What about green? Is green better? No, that makes it the opposite. What if I make the walls have eyes, but make the carpets have bunnies? How does that balance out? Eh, it's okay, I guess. Let's go with that. There we go. I just needed bunny carpeting. That's totally why he's here.
らっしゃいませちょっといいかこれなんかどうでしょうあ,あそれでいいぜいくらにしようかなよしこれでいいぜありがとうございました売れたよこんにちはいくらにしようかな<笑>ありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませあのねいくらにしようかな<笑>ありがとうございました買い取ったよ I don't think that book is actually available in the store. I should check what this book is about. Finally, we can unlock the next dungeon. I wonder if the way this cutscene, the way this comment is, they actually expect you to unlock this dungeon much sooner. Because that other dungeon unlocked ages ago.
Oh, I guess when the market around them is completely collapsed, you can't buy more. Interesting. Yeah, I put the other vending machine there. Well, I was gonna spend that money on melons, so I guess I'll just go back to this store over here and buy some other stuff then, since I can't buy melons. That'll have to do. Yo, Genka. Oh, hi, all the
I wonder how many months are in a year. Okay. I got caught up enough in shopkeeping that I almost forgot that a new dungeon unlocked. But now that I remember, I can go to that dungeon after opening the shop one more time. And see how that dungeon works out. I probably shouldn't have this here. There we go. of time didn't go as well as I would have liked, but it's not that big of a deal. It's not like money's that important anymore. Just want to keep my vending machines full. Even if I don't have anything good to fill them with. That stuff will sell eventually. Probably only after the price is normalized, though. Alright, I'll go with that also. I think I can check. Okay, next level is just fusion rank 5. This isn't really a kind of playthrough where I'm going for the fusion stuff, so that's probably not going to be relevant. Alright, let's check out the new dungeon. She's not quite a high level as Louie yet, but she'll get there since I pretty much am using her now. And there's like two new adventurers that I've never tried yet, but I don't know if I ever will in this playthrough because they're both kind of weak. And they have like the worst possible items because I've never sold them any upgrades. Yeah, for now, we'll just go with this. Bring a melon, since it's not really worth anything right now anyway. Actually, what is her max HP? Seems like it would be worth checking. It's only 87, so that would be kind of overkill, I guess. Let's find something that's a little bit less healing. Like a watermelon. And a couple beef bowls. That should probably be more than enough. I hope. I remember this music from the late game of Chantilly's. Of course, I actually played this game just before Chantilly's in the first place, so technically I heard it in this game first, but it obviously came in the other game before this one. I guess not the whole dungeon has that music, but I think that music does probably come up again in the dungeon. Oh god, enemy defense power doubled. I, I want to get out of this floor now. I don't want floors that take forever to kill anything. Just run into walls instead. 
Because it's better than fighting the enemies on a floor like this. Since this is a late game dungeon, I would expect there to be a decent amount of floors with negative effects, but not as many as in the next dungeon. Once in the sense that I did it at some point, I think I definitely... I'll, I'm almost certain I did more than one actual run of it though. Decent. Well, you're lucky at finding exits in this dungeon so far, which is good because I think this is kind of a a big dungeon. They mentioned it being a big dungeon, but wow, yeah, it's not that it's not as big as the next dungeon. And yeah, I'm getting really lucky with these exits. But yeah, I want to take the exits as soon as possible in a dungeon like this because otherwise I'm gonna be here forever. And considering money isn't important anymore, then. I don't really need to be in a dungeon gathering a bunch of treasure. I didn't mean to actually use that, but that worked out. I meant to use the other thing, but I wasn't on the other thing, so it went to the first one. But yeah, for this playthrough, I'm not going for like gathering a bunch of treasure or anything. I'm just going for... Finishing this story, basically, which is finishing this dungeon and the next one. I don't know how difficult that's going to be with the current items and adventurers I have, but I think I should be able to do it. Press the wrong button there. There we go, now I'm on the right spell that I want to use for non-bosses. But yeah, in this game, I don't really consider this story done until you finish, like, both of the... Both of the dungeons that I haven't done yet. One of them is a post-game exclusive dungeon, and this one isn't. It's not technically post-game exclusive, but I always unlock in the post-game anyway because it's kind of complicated to unlock. And the condition I currently remember for the next dungeon is that you have to finish this dungeon first. I think there's something else, but I don't think it's as convoluted as unlocking this dungeon. Probably. Some of these treasures are valuable enough that if I did unlock this dungeon while there was still debt to repay, these would be decent treasures to have, but since the dungeon wasn't unlocked at that point, these treasures are mostly kind of worthless to me. 
because it's not like I really need to make money from dungeons at this point. Okay, I guess maybe I haven't been getting that lucky with the dungeon floor exits. I guess these floors are just really small because it's the start of a dungeon. I guess that's how it works. I thought maybe because it was a later dungeon, even the floors at the start would be reasonably big, but I guess the floors still start pretty small in this dungeon at least. Those enemies are a little bit annoying, but they're not the most annoying dungeon enemies. Not even close. Okay, that I think is a new sword. I don't think you can buy that one. Okay, my inventory is already full. I'm sure it's 99% junk, if not more. Well, not really, because 99% is kind of a lot considering there's only 30 total items. So obviously it's not actually, literally, 99%. I'll keep the full helm for now, but I'm sure I'll probably wind up throwing it out sometime later on this trip. Okay, this isn't even that valuable, but I think it's a unique sword anyway. Not unique in that there's one of them, but unique in that I can't buy it at least. So yeah, it's a big dungeon, but considering I don't really need most most of the treasures you can get in these dungeons anymore. It won't take as many trips as it could. Like, it won't take as many trips per floor as previous dungeons. Oh god. Not liking the looks of these things. At this point, I pretty much don't need to keep any treasure just because it's valuable, so when my inventory is full, I'll probably throw out stuff like that, but there are things like, I think the thing I picked up a couple treasure chests ago is a unique enough item. I 
I brought some healing items just in case, but it seems like I'll be picking up more healing items than I'm using for most of this. Things are doing pretty decent damage now, and I think the level ups are gonna be getting steadily slower, so it's a good thing I have so many healing items because I will at some point, I imagine, need them. Go! <laughs> 
Damn, I almost left a plus four seal behind there. I just like missed it completely. I wouldn't have ever found it if I just didn't happen to go along that path again. It's probably not a big deal even if I did miss it though, considering I'm not really doing much fusion in this playthrough. I should just run away from this floor because it's got defense power doubled for everybody and that's never good. I also feel slow after doing that whole floor with movement speed increased. soon enough. Oh, I wasn't keeping track of which floor I was leaving, so I guess I'm gonna need some SP healing items too. For boss purposes. Didn't bring many of those. Actually, I didn't bring any, but I didn't pick up many either. Okay. It's a good thing I'm alive, because otherwise I'd be dead. So that's 15 floors, but I might be able to do five more this trip. My inventory is getting kind of full though, and it's mostly with stuff I don't want to throw away at this point. Yeah, there's a decent bit of food in there though. Yeah, sure, I can go five more. completely forgot those were a thing in this game at all. But I'm just gonna try leaving the floor as soon as possible so we don't have to show what they are. Okay, I really want to level up soon. Definitely think I want to leave after these next five floors, even if I can make inventory space, because things are doing a lot of damage now. I don't know if there's much I can do about that by leaving, though. Don't really think there's any like better items I can sell her. It's possible there are, but holy crap, there's a lot in this room. A lot of enemies in that room. Damn, that trap really got me from a distance. Okay, well, the exit's gotta be up here somewhere then. Damn walls, damn beams, 
Damn everything. Damn fish. Alright, good. I get to leave. Oh god, same effect again. Alright, well, I need some food. Now, let's find an exit again. Like last time, except hopefully better. Oh my god, I keep using that by accident. It's like I keep forgetting that I'm on this. And I don't switch back off it after the boss. Enemies are especially annoying when you can't, like, get them to spawn properly, and you're actually trying to. Sure, I don't need. Same with Thief's Knife and Scale Hat and Toothpicks. It's definitely all just items that can easily go and be replaced whenever. Jesus, that's a lot of them. It's just bad. I might regret not leaving five floors earlier, but... I don't know. I could make it out of this. I still never actually use any of the healing items I brought in here. It's like I've just been surviving on healing items I've found here so far. That even though I remembered it was a trap. Sometimes I remember to check for traps, just not usually. And sometimes they wind up open anyway. But at least I didn't open it on purpose, because that matters somehow. ちゃんとついてきなよ。よし、行きましょう。大丈夫。よっ。相手も拾ったよ。よっ。よっ。大丈夫。
とりあえず町に戻りましょう。お疲れ様でした今日は頑張りましたね明日もこの調子でいきましょうさあ仕事しますよ今日も頑張っていこう見せ開けますねこんにちは<笑>これです
よこれいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよこんにちはありがとうございましたへへ<笑>いらっしゃいませよ来たぜこれですよこれ売ってくれいくらにしようかなまあそのくらいかありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございましたあいとったよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございましたあったよいらっしゃいませこんにちはいくらにしようかなまあありがとうございましたれ売れたよいらっしゃいませいくださいいくらにしようかないただきますありがとうございました売れたよこんにちは欲しいもんがあるんだけどさこれなんかどうでしょOof, I don't know if I actually want to sell him. This just decreases its defense a lot and it only gives a tiny boost to magic. But since I'm offering it, I guess I might as well go through with selling it. It's not like I use him in this. It's not like I'll probably use him more in this playthrough anyway. Alright, I think I'm probably best off doing another dungeon trip then, because that's about all my objective really is to do, and I have a decent amount of money right now, not that that matters. Oh yeah, I forgot. I could bring these to increase an adventurer's max HP to a certain extent. I'm not sure how much you can actually use on one of them. So I don't want to bring all of them with one adventurer, maybe I'll bring one of each with her next time. As well as a little bit of food. Not sure what kind of food it is. I wonder, is there food that restores HP and SP? I think there is, but it's not buyable. So you can't, like, just buy a bunch of them and use those as your healing item. That would be too easy. Yeah, this recovers both, but you can't buy these. These dungeon trips are kind of long, so I'll take a quick break before I start on the next dungeon trip, because the last one was 20 floors. I don't know how long that actually took, but it was a while.
All right, let's go. I might just do one more dungeon trip this stream. I guess it depends on how long it takes. If there's time, I'll fit in another one. Maybe a quick one, but we'll see. I wonder how much her stats would improve if I actually like replaced her items. Like I really should buy her better shoes sometime. At the very least. Shoes and armband. Yeah, I need to get her better shoes and a better bracelet, but I don't actually own either of them right now anyway, so. I'm not gonna use a slot on those. Alright, let's use some of these. And bring her some food. I might just bring the melon. No, actually, ham sandwich is probably the best. Her store is 120 and you can buy them. I wish I had more than just two of them, but I guess with the other slot I'll take a watermelon. Yeah. It's probably fine. Alright, now let's start from floor 21. I don't think I'll be doing another 20 floors this trip. That I guess you can see from the times here, it probably took like... I don't know, 24 minutes or so. It's hard to do math, so I just estimated. But yeah, th the later floors were clearly very difficult, so... I don't think I'll be doing 20 floors this trip. Jesus, like 18 damage from the first attack. I first attack that hits me. It might just do like 10 or 15 floors this time. And with my double attack power, these several of these things still aren't even dying in one hit. items in, I just forgot to actually use them. That, max plus two, plus four, plus five, and plus six. So yeah, I can probably bring more next trip. At some point, the effect of them stops working and you can't use any more, but I would like to at least get to that point. Oh my god, take so much damage from everything now. Tried to dodge that, but yeah, this trip might not might not even make five floors at this rate. I didn't even pick up any healing items yet. I got stuck in a situation like that last floor, I definitely wouldn't have survived, but luckily this floor I get double defense. So things don't just kill me instantly. The way they're knocking me around though, I'm gonna die one way or another though. Yeah, this... Honestly, that's gonna be my goal now, is just to get 5 floors out of this trip. Screw like 15... Or 10... looking like five will actually be difficult. I guess because I'm like advancing in the dungeon faster than I'm leveling up, or faster than I'm getting stronger by leveling up, so the enemies now are a bit strong for me. 
Maybe after this I will just... I'll check out what kind of fusion stuff I can reasonably get, and maybe I should try and see if I can sell any of that to upgrade her. Because this is not cutting it anymore. And if it's not cutting it now, just imagine there's a dungeon after this. How's that going to turn out? So yeah, if I'm struggling already, then I definitely need to at least focus on getting upgrades. Even if I don't actually get the upgrades immediately, I should at least pay attention to what items I need for them and start gathering materials.
All right, I think next time I might try to bring even more healing items if I don't have like much better equipment, which I don't think I will. But yeah, this was a quick dungeon trip, so I'll probably do another visit to the dungeon this stream. I'll just see if I can do anything about getting her better equipment before then. Alright, I'll start from the bottom and see ranked items. Uh, let's see. I definitely don't really need food. Like, fusion food is never really actually worth it, because, I mean, it's a one use item. But stuff like shoes and daggers would be nice. But I don't know any of these items. Some of them might just be stuff you only get in dungeons really rarely. Let's see, rank 4 dagger. Yeah, I need a dagger that I don't. I need a dagger that I've never seen and 10 of an ingredient I've never seen, so. Rank 4 dagger is not happening. How about rank 3? Rank 3 has no dagger. Rank 2? That probably wouldn't even be better than the one I can buy. It needs three of an ingredient I've never seen as well. Wow. This is, I guess, not very good. We're just not gonna be able to get any of these items, I guess. In which case, I need to upgrade the stuff that I can get. Oh crap, that's not the bu button I meant to hit. Let's see, yeah, it's just the bracelet and the shoes that I can really upgrade well with her. Oh well, I guess that's just how it is. Let's manage the shop for a bit, because I need to make some money back at least. Oh, armor is normalized. Actually, I should be putting some of the stuff I just bought in the, in the window. That's kind of what I bought it for. To try to sell it while it's up. Unfortunately, most of it went back down instantly on me buying it. 
But oh well, that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna need to buy some more stuff for the vending machines soon too, cause it's like I'm running out of stuff to just fill the vending machines with. It's just ordinary junk. Alright, I think I should uh, set my decorations back to normal because as it is, it's not the most normal, so I think that's causing less customers to come in, and I don't need this store to be darker right now because, like, I already got the event that I needed that for.
かなはいけんですいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませこれなんかどうでしょういくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませありがとうございましたへへ<笑>こんにちはいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよこれとお疲れ様でした今日は頑張りましたね明日もこの調子でいきましょうさあ仕事しますよ今日も頑張っていこうはい、アーマーは、ノーマライズ、そうでしたが、ジャンクのウィンドウにも。ジャンクのウィンドウにも。ジャンクのウィンドウにも。ジャンクのウィンドウにも。ジャンクのウィンドウにも。ジャンクのウィンドウにも。ジャンクのウィンドウにも。Just throw that stuff down there somewhere. I think I might need to buy some stuff though for the vending machines. Not selling all that much in the vending machines, but just to keep them stocked. Got a decent bit of money right now. I think for next time I might check what kind of store atmosphere. Charm likes and just go with that to try to sell her stuff to make her better. Oh, I can't do adventuring today. Wait, I don't know if I was gonna do that anyway. And if I wasn't, then it's not a big deal. Just buy more of those just in case. Get a good 30 of these. It's because you don't want to run out. 10 copies of these and like. About 20 copies of Doomsday. Yes. That's good for now. And the rest I'll spend on melons. Which is only 14, but. It'll have to do for now. Try selling. Damn, I saw her in the shop this time and she didn't even buy anything. I will fill the machines, empty slots with melons, even though they're not gonna sell now. I assume they will once food prices normalize. Norman. Yeah, normalize. I think that's the word I'm looking for. It's not like it's a complicated word. 
just is for me. To sell bracelet or shoes to her. That would be ideal. But neither of those bracelets are even the best ones I can buy. They're just the best ones I can buy that don't have quantity limits. You know, I'm wondering if I should have more vending machines. Like, I'm torn on that because on the one hand, like, with vending machines you don't get merchant experience, which is kind of one of the big reasons to still open the shop at this point, but on the one hand, I don't actually like ever sell much from any of these shelves, and keeping these stocked is kind of a pain when I do actually sell them, because I'd have to regularly check and make sure prices aren't down, which they are on a few things, but it would be annoying to like actually regularly replace them. So maybe I will just go for more vending machines and just sell what's in the windows to whoever. I don't know. I guess I don't need to get rid of all of these shelves here, but just maybe just get like four more vending machines and then I just have to have like two extra shelves to deal with and that should be easy enough. Of course I can't actually afford that many vending machines right now, so this is just an idea at this point. Also, I don't think I will actually have time for another dungeon run today. I wound up getting too into the shopkeeping, trying to hopefully sell good stuff to my adventurer, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen.
らっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよお疲れですお疲れ様でした今日は頑張りましたね明日もこの調子でいきましょうおはようおはようございます Wow, it seems like I'm never gonna actually sell, be able to sell those melons because, like, if the price of food normalized for like a day, but the price of sweets was still down, and now the price of food has gone down again. Let's just put all these. Yeah, I only have a couple more repairs, so. Can't. Can't fill the whole window with them, but whatever. Basically, a shoe shop at this point, as far as the windows are concerned. These in here. I mean, if I put stuff in the vending machines that won't sell, that means I don't have to restock them. It's a perfectly valid business strategy. You know, I will actually do another dungeon run right now. I mean, five floors can't take too long. Hmm. I could, since I didn't sell her upgraded equipment, I could actually bring it in with her, but... That wastes item slots. Don't know if I want to do that. Also, my stuff's in the shop, so I'd have to go pick it up. Screw doing that. Let's just bring food and hope for the best. This stuff does a lot of damage, so I'm actually going to take five melons. Even though it's kind of overkill on healing, but... I didn't buy any beef bowls, so whatever. It's fine. Floor 26 to 30. Let's go. Yeah, these enemies on these floors really do hurt. Especially with the double attack power buffs. They're bad enough without them at this point, honestly. I wonder what the ingredients I need to make a, a dagger upgrade are. I don't think it really matters that much because I think for the level 4 dagger at least I also needed a dagger I haven't seen. And it's not like you can go after something like that on purpose. It's just pure luck whether you can get an item like that in a treasure chest. At least it's not double attack for everybody anymore. Still taking a lot of damage and I'm not getting nearly as much food as I need. Might be worth bringing in like 10 melons next time. Sure, it'll cost me money, but money's not useful for much else at this point. Things. Good thing I don't have to go down there. 
Alright, the map revealed. Unfortunately, it happened on a floor where, like, the exit's right there anyway. I feel like I would have found it even without these being revealed. But since, I, since it's revealed, I think I'll go after this nearby treasure chest first. Oh, well, at least it wasn't a trap. I mean, that's just as worthless as a trap, unfortunately. Oh god, now this is the worst floor effect I've seen so far. Your enemy attack power doubled, so it's not even just... It's not even everybody's attack power, it's just theirs at this point. It was bad enough when it was everybody's and I could kill them fast, but now it's just them. Shows how much worse things can just always get. I am going to die. right around the time that I find the exit to the floor. That would be helpful. Doesn't seem like that's the case though. If I could just avoid damage, that's almost the same thing. expect there to be two traps in a row. Alright, well, I didn't avoid damage. It's all bad now. There's no silver lining to what's going on here. Yeah, I don't think I'm actually going to get out of here alive. So if I recall correctly, there's a boss. Well, obviously there's a boss on the next floor, but if I recall correctly, it's actually a difficult boss, which I no longer have the healing items to deal with. Well, let's try it anyway. Yep. There he is. This can't end well. Yeah, if I had one more healing item, it might have been okay, but not a chance there. This is actually the first time I've failed with an adventure in this playthrough. I guess it is, because it's explaining it.
Yeah, well, it's not like we found anything valuable on this trip anyway. Yeah, okay, Griff, it's over. You can stop. And rather than the valuable item, I would rather keep something that's, like, rarer. Alright, broken seal plus three, sure. Flint plus two, whatever. Alright, so our last dungeon trip of the day ended in miserable failure. Well, you can't win them all. Can I still afford a vending machine? Yes, but I can't afford two of them. Unfortunately. Alright, I'll just go with that. Actually, I should have bought more shoes and bracelets. Ah, uh, damn. Well, whatever. I'll just open the shop one more time, and I think that'll probably be it for the stream. Well, the price of sweets is normalized. Too bad food's still down. So what difference does it make? Oh well. I guess that dungeon trip wasn't a complete waste of time. I think she did level up like once during it, so... It's something, it's... It's not really gonna help me that much, but... It is what it is. We'll get through those dungeons eventually. Even if it's difficult. A scarf. I might. Nothing really good, but this one. Alright, shouldn't be too many more sales today. Alright, close. Sure. These are good, right? 50,000, that's a good price. You're not the person I want buying these shoes, but... She's not here anyway, so... It's not like I can expect her to buy them. Oh well. Alright, that will do. I forgot to actually set up my next vending machine. I guess I'll do that. I'll restock everything before I end stream. Price of sweets has increased. Okay. That means... What exactly in terms of... Okay, food is still decreased though. So it evens out. It evens out to even with sweets though, so maybe I can sell some of them. other vending machine. I will set it up like over here I guess. Okay, I guess a table like that sets up a vending machine that faces that way. That's uh, not exactly that doesn't exactly look good. But I don't think there's anything I can do about it. I can move it somewhere else, but I don't think there's really anywhere that's good for it. There's nowhere I can put a vending machine that faces this way that actually looks good. Next to the door, I guess, is like the best place I could think of. Yeah, let's go there for now. It's 
looks kind of ugly, but what are you going to do? Maybe if I get another vending machine for the other side, it'll look slightly less ugly. I don't know, it might still look uglier. But such is life. Sometimes it's ugly, and there's nothing you can do about it. With that said, I think I'm done for today. Everything's stocked, and I think next time I will actually... I don't know what exactly I'll accomplish, but I'll definitely go back towards that boss and try it again at least once. Hopefully with better success, I mean... If I just bring more healing items, it should be easy enough. Maybe even a ring that defends against physical attacks, but... Yeah, we'll almost certainly actually beat the boss next time. So, look forward to that, and I'll see you whenever that next time is. Goodbye. Okay, I think that makes the second time in a row I had connection issues before start of stream. Well, actually, technically right after start of stream, but... Luckily, both of them were resolvable this time, it looks like. But yeah, I think... Well, what I did is I did some research off stream, and... There's really not a lot I can actually do to uh, upgrade her equipment right now. I mean, I can definitely buy the better shoes and the better armband, but aside from that... The better upgrades for her... are not really things you can get in the sense that like most of the things that I could upgrade for her require drops from like dungeon chests that are pretty much impossible to get and the only way to get most of those kinds of items is just to be blessed by the RNG gods but I'm not going to expect that to happen during this playthrough so I will just go with the dungeons and hope for the best let me just see what I can actually do to best prepare for the dungeon. I might want to... Okay, I have plenty of melons if I want to bring those, but it'd probably be smarter to bring ham sandwiches, honestly. Technically cheaper. Maybe I should buy those instead, and rings. Rings, I want to bring... The ones that heal or protect against physical damage, I mean, most likely, I think. In which case, I do have to stop at the mer the market before before doing the dungeoning itself, because I don't have those things on me right now. So let's take like thirty ham sandwiches. I think that's probably more than enough for one day. But who knows? Five of each, and... This ring doesn't really seem useful at all. I'll take it. I have no idea what this actually does. I should check sometime. Makes them graceful, preventing a waste of energy, like... That's a great description, but what does it actually do? Cleansing a status ailment doesn't seem like it would come up very much. This one... Enhances the wearer's magic powers. That does that actually increase up? You know, I'm actually curious enough about these rings that I'm gonna look up 
the ring page and find actual answers for these because there's more than one ring where I'm curious about what they do now. Okay, this ring, it says it increases the wearer's magical power, but no, really, it is just increasing magic defense. You, you'd think it would increase their actual offense, because it says increases their magical power, but I guess it just increases their ability to withstand magic damage all the same. Graceful ring is half SP consumption, I guess. And the other rings they don't sell anyway, so let's let's go. I think I'm good now. Let's see. What did I want to bring? Oh yes, a bunch of ham sandwiches. Let's bring like eight ham sandwiches. I don't know how many ham sandwiches the average person eats in a day, but hopefully that's good. Three of those rings. Now let's do 26 to 30 again and succeed this time. <laughs> Ow. Damn walls. I'll put that there. I think that's a rare-ish item. Unfortunately, it's not a useful one, so who cares. That's the problem with the game, the item encyclopedia and stuff, is there are just too many... too many rare items. And a lot of them aren't even useful for anything, so it makes it that much harder to find the ones that actually are useful. something I could do about that. Besides comment on it several times. But I guess that's pretty much the limit of my ability in playing video games. All I can generally do is comment on things. Sometimes I play the video game too, but it's more about talking. I think I might just be under leveled, honestly. But I'm not gonna like manually go back to an earlier dungeon just to get levels. I'll get levels even if I keep failing at this dungeon. So basically, anytime I fail, we can just say that I was here to gain levels instead of succeed. It was all just to grind level ups all along. not the dagger that you can get that's actually good to have. I don't actually remember if that one's in this dungeon as well or just the next ones. But there's one dagger that's like one of the more important drops in the entire game. But it's just rare so you'll probably never see it. Even if you play the game. Alright, I don't 
care about that enemy anymore. It's fine. Care about this one because it'll kill me if I don't. Yes. As I get like some more valuable drops from this dungeon, it seems like the vast majority of treasure chests in this dungeon are just worthless garbage too. I didn't mind that at first because it meant I could do a bunch of floors without leaving, but now that I can't do a bunch of floors without leaving anyway because they're too difficult. The whole thing just feel pointless. Damn walls. Damn walls. Okay, I need to heal. This is not going too well. I'm kind of tired here. You know what, I'll try actually equipping the ring for one thing. I was going to try saving the ring mostly for the boss, but I brought three, so... I'll save two for the boss. That should be enough. Despite the warning that they'll appear soon, you have plenty of time to clear the whole floor before they appear still, as long as you're not completely wasting time. God. Yeah, that's magic damage, so that'll still hit me for a lot. This is the wrong one. Okay, time to get rid of some worthless crap. Plus three slime fluids. I probably don't need. You can get plus four of those like any time. You know, I don't have nearly as much worthless crap as I thought. Maybe it's just because my inventory is full of sandwiches. But I can get rid of those for sure. Almost avoided it, but there was worthless treasure in the way. Those things are dangerous when you just walk into a room full of them and you're not ready for it, and they have double attack. Seems like a quite specific set of circumstances, but at the same time, it seems to happen all the time. Okay. Okay. 
hoping there would at least be treasure over there. Alright, defense power doubled for everybody. That I can handle, probably. Yeah, it only works if you're right next to the treasure chest, though, so with a lot of them I forget to check because you can open them from much further away than you can see traps. Also, I got an earth crystal there. I think that might be the first one. Yeah, this is the first one I've got this playthrough. I think this is like one of the few item drops I know that I actually need. I think that's for the rank 2 dagger. I can check, actually. Probably have a window open for it. Let's see, it's here somewhere. Yeah, I need three of them, and I can make the rank 2 dagger. Which is marginally better than the one I already have. Which won't already er, which won't honestly help me all that much because like, offense is not my problem. The problem is everything hits me for too much damage, so I need better defense, but still. I'd take more offense if I could get it. It would be helpful for bosses, if nothing else. I just noticed how low my health is. It would be nice to have it be less low. That's probably fine. Yeah, because of Earth Crystals actually being useful, whenever the Yellow Knights show up, I definitely want to make sure to kill them. Other enemies don't really matter as much, but the Yellow Knights I definitely need to, eat. I definitely need to be killing. Really, I kind of want to be killing most enemies most of the time just because, like, I need experience to level up because I'm kind of under leveled, and that's probably never going to change. But if I just try leveling up when I can, then I can be less under-leveled than I would be otherwise. Damn walls. I should probably just ignore slime fluid. I don't even think I need it if it's plus four at this point. I don't actually know what it's even used for. Same with powerful anti-venom. Don't really know what it's used for and I have a lot of it anyway. Oh yeah, I guess the green ones are ones that have high health or high defense or both, something like that. Makes sense why that took so many hits. Which 
just need to find an exit here and we can fight the boss again. Oh, it's right here. Alright. This can only go better than last time, right? Well, that fight didn't start the greatest considering he broke my ring on his first attack, but that's why I have others. I brought spares because I'm a genius. Well, there goes that one. Alright, I won. Oh god. I think... Wait, do I get to grab that one or does the cutscene take me away from it? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Okay, it looks like I get to take that item. Good. I can't remember. I think there's like something with one of the Griff fights where he can drop a rare item, but if you w beat that fight, then the cutscene actually takes you away and doesn't let you grab the item. I think I vaguely recall something like that happening, but I'm not sure if this is actually the rare item or not. It might be something else. I think this is a reasonably rare drop, though. I'll take it and get out of here. とりあえず待ちに戻りましょう。ただいま。どうしようかな。お店開けますよ。いらっしゃいませ。いくらにしようかな。ありがとうございました。あったよ。いらっしゃいませ。いくらにしようかな。ありがとうございました。売れたよ。いらっしゃいませ。いくらにしようかな。ありがとうございました。会い取ったよ。いらっしゃいませ。これなんかどうでしょう。いくらにしようかな。ありがとうございました。売れたよ。いらっしゃいませ。これ。これなんかどうでしょう。いくらにしようかな。わかった。ありがとうございました。売れたよ。いらっしゃいませ。いくらにし
何をこかな何をこかな何がいいかな何をこかな何がいいかな I think there are some events I haven't seen that are in some of these places, but it might be that they don't show up until you're at a certain point in the dungeons. Like maybe through the dungeon that I'm in now. And the next one maybe as well, who knows. In any case, I'm definitely doing more of these dungeons. Actually, I should buy more rings. Maybe start bringing more than three per trip, too. But before rings, I need to buy eight pairs of Eskimo shoes. Because I do have my priorities in order. That should be good for a few trips. So I keep forgetting to bring drugs. Gotta have drugs. And I will bring seven ham sandwiches this time. That's... It was way too difficult to select that last ham sandwich. Four rings. I better make it five. Now I'm using up half of my item slots before I even go into the dungeon, but what are you gonna do? Chances are I'll be fine. Use these to start off. I'd get slightly more max health. Actually, I might want to bring a better healing item than hand sandwiches for next trips because I now have a max HP of over 160, so healing 120 isn't always going to be a full heal. Mathematically speaking. But who believes in math anyway? Picking up ingredients here reminds me that I should have at some point checked whether I actually had a use for those things like slime fluids and toothpicks. Oh well, someday. Someday I'll figure it out. I think if it was actually really important then I would know about it, but still. I think ultimately I don't have to really worry about those items too much because this isn't the kind of playthrough where I'm going for everything. I'm just going for finishing all the dungeons, in which case the only stuff that really matters are the items that will make the one adventure I'm using better. And I at least know which items those are. Well, I knew that was a trap, but my shadow hit it.
It's bound to happen. Everything, things break. I can always throw out some broken rings if I need to make space because broken rings are really easy to get if I need them. All I need to do is break rings. They're useful for something and I think you actually need a lot of them to make that something but it's not that necessary of an item. It's not an item that will make her into a better adventurer, so it doesn't really matter to me. Oh god, skeletons. Not the Chantilly's flashbacks. Please, no. I think for dungeons from now on I'm probably just going to do 5 floors per trip because these floors are pretty big and there's not really any reason to stay for more than 5 floors at a time. Yeah. 
ちゃんとついてきなよ頑張ってください行くよ God, every time the floor after I get a movement upgrade it feels so slow ow that kind of hurt not as much as I would expect it to though so it's fine Okay, I think I want to get rid of the broken rings because they're taking up too much space. Don't know if the steel breastplate is viable or not. So I don't want to throw it out if I don't know. Same with the adventurer's cape. So I suppose I'll keep those for now. Multiple toothpicks plus four. Probably don't need too many, but I'll keep them anyway, because who knows. Honestly, this might wind up being a kind of shorter stream if it's not obvious from how many walls I'm walking into and how hard it is for me to hit enemies that are barely moving. I'm kind of tired. Seems to be catching up to me in some ways. I would rather be playing the game, but if I'm going to be playing it this badly, I don't know. Kind of complicates things. At least I'm making progress. Go! <laughs> 
とりあえず町に戻りましょう。
こういうのが欲しいんだけどありがとうございました<笑>いらっしゃいませこういうのを探してるんだけどさこれなんかどうでしょう、まあ、それでい,い,いくらにしようかなそんなに高いのかいくらにしようかなまあそんなにありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませこれなんだけどなこれなんかどうでしょうそれでい,い,いくらにしようかな、まあ、ありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませこれなんかどうでしょういくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませこれいくらにしようかなわかったありがとうございました売れたよこんにちはいくらにしようかなありがとうございました買い取ったよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございました買い取ったよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございました買ったよこんにちはおーいこれなんかどうでしょうそれそれいくらにしようかなありがとうございました。売れたよ。おやすみ。おやすみなさい。今日は頑張りましたね。明日もこの調子でいきましょう。おはよう,はようございます。Well, apparently I crashed the market on melons again. I have way too much power to do that. Alright, now I'm trying to think of something, but I just completely forget what it was. I think it was something or other. I just don't know to what end. Eskimo shoes? I don't think that was it.
Okay, she was asking for something metal, as far as I can tell. The dagger that would be an upgrade for her does not count under that category, so... I don't know if there's something good I can get out of this or not. It's just for something... Two metal things, but... Mainly it's just metal things that's relevant. I just need to figure out if there's anything I can sell her that's metal that would be an upgrade. Battle boots, I believe. I think I can actually only upgrade one thing at a time with this order, though. So, do I want the boots or a bracelet upgrade? Bracelet would be like fairy bracelet, I think, which I don't even have. Shoes would be battle boots. Those are probably the best. No, wait, she can't actually equip boots. In which case, the bracelet would definitely be a better option. Of course, I could sell both since. I mean. Uh. Lost my train of thought. Um. Yeah, I could sell both if she only equips one, then it's fine. Okay, super armband does not count as metal, I think. No, it doesn't. I would have to give her a fairy bracelet. 22 defense and 26 magic defense. Yeah, that's a pretty reasonable upgrade. It decreases attack, but... Still. It increases defense enough that it's worth it. Alright, stop buying everything. I know it's difficult, but just stop buying stuff. Figure out what I, what can I do for fusion. Uh, I still only have one earth crystal. I should buy like everything. Never mind the reason for it. I should just buy everything. I can't buy everything now, but we'll get there eventually. can make this spear. It's not very good, but I made it. Alright, so for this I need two earth crystals. And for most other stuff I still have no idea. Alright, I wanted to check if I needed like slime fluid or toothpicks for anything. Looks like I probably don't, honestly. Can I afford iron, iron armor anymore? I still can, okay. Let's make that thing then. Just because I might as well make things that I can. All right, slime fluid. Nope, I don't think I need slime fluid for anything. What about toothpicks? Still do need more gunpowder and red oil, but that's for gloves. And who needs gloves? I should make this. Let's see if I can do anything with it. I don't know if I want to make it now or wait until I can get it better upgraded. I'll look into that and come back to that. Yeah, 
it doesn't look like I need like slime fluid or toothpicks at all for like anything. which case I can save some inventory space and time by just never picking them up. Rank 2 necklace I can make as well if I just bought that necklace, which I doubt I can afford at this point because I just spent all my money on nothing. Okay, what do I get if I choose to do this right now? Eternal Ice, it took one. So that would be a plus three. And then five grass. It'd be plus seven. So it would be a plus eight if I made it now. I'm gonna not do that right now, but I'll probably make it anyway, even without it being better than that. I didn't see an event here, but I guess there is one. Also that other thing I wanted that I already forgot what it was. Okay, can't afford any rings. It was a necklace, I think. Is it not actually something that's sold? I guess it's not an item that's sold, which is very bad news, because the fact that I can see it means that I must have owned one at some point. And I guess I sold it because I didn't know it was unique, unless it's on my shelves. It is not. Well, I must have sold an item that I can't easily get back. Oh well. That's one thing that could be improved in this game, is having some kind of symbol that indicates whether an item is that kind of item or not. So you can't sell good items by accident. Alright, I'll bring three rings this time and five sandwiches.
You know, I feel like at this point, picking up anything except the things that I specifically want and treasure chests is probably a waste of time. Cause I mean, I'm never gonna use most of these fusion items. Like, the whole goal of this playthrough is just to finish the dungeons at this point. I'm not really gonna focus on much else because it can get really painful if you actually try to do all that managing items and figuring out how to get the best items all the time. It's best to worry about one thing at a time or nothing. Don't need to fix. Don't, don't, don't even pick it up. Yeah, surprisingly I haven't really had all that much trouble with the dungeon on the last few floors. Maybe it's because I started bringing rings. And plentiful healing items. Yeah, it's definitely good to be having less trouble with it though, because I've still got many, many dungeon floors to go if I'm gonna do all but the last dungeon on this playthrough. The last dungeon is definitely not going to be done on this playthrough because that dungeon is... It's not story relevant in any way. It's just a challenge dungeon. I don't think it's actually as long as this dungeon or the dungeon after it, but every floor is pretty brutal. More or less. It's like I think every floor has a negative effect, at the very least. And the enemies are really strong. The boss rush, the boss rush that's part of that dungeon is actually pretty fun though. If you're, you know, reasonably leveled up and equipped for it. Which I won't be. I just want to check what this treasure chest up here is before I go to the exit. It's a trap, okay. Well, that was pointless. Actually, there are... I can just check all the treasure chests. They're pretty close together. Just worthless crap like usual. But at least I know. Well, it's 38 now. Alright, as tempting as it is to check what the treasure is, it's a waste of time. So I'm gonna just skip it for this floor. The game's giving me an out on this floor, so let's just go up to 39 already. It's fine. The odds that anything valuable was in that treasure is, like, basically nothing. I'm not sure what... Because that takes almost as much time, there's not really a reason to do that. Like, it's not like the dash is very fast. Oh, 
I see. No, I actually don't see anything. That at least is an item that I can't buy. I don't think it's useful for anything, but it's better than the other crap. Else. By corner, I mean wall. That clearly isn't a corner. This floor now has ice on its ice. My willpower has been broken. Oh well, it was bound to happen. Let's eat a sandwich. That'll solve our problems. Yeah, this stuff is kinda all junk, so I'm gonna do another five floors, because I don't really care if I lose all this anyway. Pretty sure if I do another five floors and I die, I can still start from floor 40 all the same.
Seems like composite bows are pretty common in treasure chests in this dungeon. That's been my luck so far. And this floor is taking a while. Hopefully I can get better luck on finding the exit in the next few floors. I guess the real issue at play is that since we're at the end of the dungeon, these floors are like all huge. That's why it's hard to find the exit. But someday we'll be in a new dungeon, and then I guess the floors will be not as big for a while, but then they're probably gonna get even bigger. And it's gonna be quite fun. Yeah, we'll go with that for now. You know what I could do? Like, I'm not going to do the last dungeon in this playthrough, but I guess for the sake of showing all the dungeons on stream, even though I've probably already shown that dungeon on stream before, I could just like load my other file to do that dungeon. 
it won't seem that bad because my other file has like maxed out adventures for the most part, but it'll still probably be difficult enough to be notable. I guess I could find out. Alright, I'm nowhere near the exit. That's a problem. Because I need to find the exit to be able to exit. Which is necessary. God damn the fish. As well as the non-fish. Whatever you call those things. What do you call things that aren't fish? Not aware of a term.
ちゃんとついてきなよ頑張ってください Yay, finally a nice painless floor. お疲れ様でした。今日は頑張りましたね。明日もこの調子で行きましょう。I forgot what I wanted to sell her. Was was that even today? I don't think it was, but still. I I'm completely drawing a blank here. Oh yeah, fairy bracelet. I think that's yeah, that's what I wanted to sell her for something metal. Is that today? Uh probably not. No, that's by tomorrow. I think I might actually just want to open the shop today, because it would be easier. It would be easier to just wait until I have that to... Uh, jeez, I can't even talk. I'm tired enough. To do the dungeon thing. Yeah, we'll go with that. Last five floors, and probably a boss. Be nice to have a little bit of extra defense for it, so let's go with that. Isn't she wearing shoes? Yes, yes, she is. I guess she just can't wear that specific kind of shoe. She could wear these. Are these metal?
These are not metal. Okay. These are though, but they're not very good. Right, I'm not gonna bother selling our boots. I think this same as anybody, most likely. I could check next time. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to buy a vending machine and get some more books. Something like that. Hey! Don't 
かな何がいいかなここでいいかなお店開けますよこんにちはいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよこんにちはおーいいくらにしようかなまあいいありがとうございました買ったよいらっしゃいませ欲しいものがあるのですがありがとうございましたへへへいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませあのねいくらにしようかなございました買ったよこんにちはいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませ買い取ってくれないいくらにしようかなわかったわありがとうございました買い取ったよどれにしようかな何を置こうかな何を置こうかなでしょうかえ<音楽>
Just gonna save first just in case I somehow screw up this order. Alright, order successful. She'll now have more defense for the next trip, which will help. Now, I don't think I really need to upgrade anything else of hers. Just thinking about it, I mean. You need to replace one thing for rings anyway if you're going to use rings, which are probably the right thing. It, it's probably the right thing to do to use rings rather than use that slot on an item. Because rings can reduce one type of damage to very low. I did not know I still had any of those left on the shelf. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Selling something at a loss now and that isn't bad. I mean, it's it's bad. It's just not that bad. Still gets me merchant experience at least.
どれにしようかなえいえい何をこうかなえい、right, that Correctly, the dungeon ends at 50, floor, 50 floors. Oh, wait, I, I missed this spot. Hang on. There we go. Now we should be good. For next time, I want to open this up, but for now, I want to finish that dungeon, assuming it is just 50 floors. Okay, there's an event at the market. It's too bad I'm set on going to the dungeon right now, so we'll worry about that event at some other time. I'm sure it'll come up again. Maybe not immediately, but someday. Bring it like. Let's bring four rings. And like. It's just five floors, so let's bring seven ham sandwiches. It might be too many, but it's better too many than not enough, considering I won't have very many items. Seven ham sandwiches, and let's bring some medicine as well. Just keep bringing medicine every trip until it stops working. Uh, now we got this music again. Yes, it does seem like she has feet. I can confirm that now. See, so yeah, if I wasn't sure already, I think by that music, that pretty much confirms that these floors are the last ones of this dungeon. Hey, red knights. They're very ugly. Fish really went a long way. Wonder if there are any more yellow knights on this floor, because they're the only knights I really need to care about, because I need the crystals that they drop. Okay, there are still yellow knights. And there are a lot of them in this room. Well, only three. But still, considering I hadn't seen any to that point, that felt like a lot at the time. Oh yeah, I did figure out what kind of item I want to start bringing for food when I get the chance aside from her instead of ham sandwiches I want to start bringing curry because it heals 200 I think which is almost a full heal for her right now it's close enough it's definitely better than the ham sandwiches I've been bringing damn it oh well it's not like a trap like that really matters I think the only trap that I would really regret activating is the slippery one with her, because 
With some characters, it's not a big deal to get that, but with her, she kind of needs to be able to run normally. Doesn't really need to, but it would help a lot. expected from this dungeon. This floor is taking a while. Yeah, I'll grab the broken ring. It's probably not really worth having, but it's got a plus on it, so if I use it for fusion, it'll help somehow. crystals unfortunately but hey I'm almost level 50 which isn't relevant to anything but at least it's something well I guess it's relevant to what level I am which sort of is relevant to dungeons so in a way it's the most relevant thing of all now twice as effective. Better consume everything. forgot to even take the drugs at the start of this dungeon. I don't think the consumables being twice effective effect does anything to those, unfortunately. Well, probably fortunately more than anything. Because if it did have an effect on those, then that would mean it would be a waste to use them on floors that don't have this effect. So you'd be like carrying them around a lot in dungeons on several floors just because you feel like you'd have to. Or you'd feel like you have to at that point. Pretty sure I don't need chestnuts. Probably even more sure that I don't need adventurers' capes, though. Like, what kind of adventurers still wear capes in this day and age? Get me a 
off of this floor and I'm good. Might want to level up so I can get my SP refilled for the boss though. We'll see. I guess my choice in the matter doesn't or er, my choice doesn't really matter unless I find the exit before I level up. Which doesn't look like it's gonna happen. find the exit. Yay, I found the exit before I leveled up. But I do want to level up before I leave to fight the boss. There we go, level 50. And I have three more rings to fight him with. This should be good. I win. Imagine that. Being prepared helps for fights.
<laughs> yeah, I think in that fight, if he drops an item at the end of this fight here, you don't get to actually pick it up because the cutscene happens and takes you away. Okay, she can actually afford it. If she couldn't afford it, I would have just given her that weapon for free, just... Well, basically free, just because... There's no reason not to give her that weapon, but she could actually afford it, so... It's, that's a bonus. Well, 
たく。all the decorative items now I don't have as much to waste money on for no reason anymore there's still some stuff I can waste money on for no reason but we'll deal with that at some point that aren't worth anything in the vending machine. It's a good plan. It'll work. Someday. Okay, I think I want to change my store atmosphere to dark. Because I'm not sure if Griff will show up otherwise. I kind of need him to show up, that's kind of the whole reason I'm here. But, can I get events today? Yeah, might as well do that. Events are fun. Actually, it might, I might not even need to make the store dark. I will make it just in case, but I think it might just be that he only shows up, like, at night anyway. Ah, he made it. Good. plan in case it wasn't obvious now is just to unlock the next dungeon basically 
Hey. Oh. She actually sells it at that price. Alright. Well, I got something. I didn't actually look at what it was, but... I spent all my money on it, so it must be good. Yeah, basically the plan is just to unlock next dungeon and end there, because unlocking the dungeon itself, the process can be kind of tedious, so I'd rather get it out of the way now. Uh, an accessory. I can do that. I just don't know if I want to. It's 24 defense and 22 magic defense. So it's a downgrade in defense. No, it's an upgrade in defense and a downgrade in magic defense and magic. But it has better attack, so I think I do want to have this one. A little bit better attack and defense. That's probably for the best. Okay, that's what it was. It was black and white walls. Pretty sure you can only get that from buying it. Let me check. Nope, never mind. I already had one. So I just wasted a bunch of money for no reason. Oh well. It's fine. It's not like money's that important in a game that's about selling stuff to make money. Sell this book here. Don't think I... Okay, she's hiding in a vending machine. That's not at all suspicious. Actually, let's sell the melons that I have left in the window, since they're kind of valuable right now. Doesn't seem like there's that many left, though. Not at all. Three of them. Alright, whatever. Let's go with that. Do I open the shop now? I guess I will if there's no events. I should buy cold weather clothes before, like, a couple days from now at least. I guess if I want to be making money, I should probably not have the decorations set up like this right now, but... I believe I've mentioned making money isn't all that important, so I'm not going to worry about it. We'll just leave things as they are for now. Unlocking the dungeon is the most important thing. Any events yet? Okay, cool.
がいいかな。そんなことありませんでもでもただいま行ってきますただいまどうしようかなお店開けますねいいいいいいいいいいいいいいset up this place so Griff would like it and he actually showed up in the both of the last two time slots but he didn't buy anything either time unless he did and I just wasn't paying enough attention to notice so yeah that's gonna take a while I guess to deal with that whole thing men of character are currently seeking a wooden bow I don't know why they would be doing that but apparently they are
All right, let's just fill everything up again. Food here should be good. And books in these. All the books people need to know about Doomsday. I guess that will be good for this stream and next time I will do the whole thing involved with making Griff like me enough that I can unlock the next dungeon. I missed a spot. I've got to fill it now. There we go. Now I can save and, and stream for now. I might actually take a bit of a break from this game. Not very long. Maybe not even more than a day, but it's this whole full stream of pretty much just dungeon going started to get a bit tedious. I agree, and Asper. Also, goodbye. I think that's all I had to say. Aside from what I already said. So, goodbye for now again. <laughs>